So Arduino recently launched a new IoT board called as Arduino Nano ESP32, which is an ESP32 S3 based board which comes in the same form factor as of original Arduino Nano board. It means the power of ESP with the ecosystem of Arduino. So in this video, we'll be completely checking out this board starting from the box content, its specifications, how to use it with Arduino IDE, and in the end, we'll be checking out a couple of IoT platforms on this board. Furthermore, we'll also learn how to flash MicroPython firmware and run MicroPython scripts on this board. So this is that one video which you need to watch to know everything about this board. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM and they came up with an amazing product called as LTM 365. So LTM 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LTM 365, you can do the PCB designing task, you can share your projects over web for review purposes. It do cover sharing your PCB file to mechanical team so that they can create the mechanical product package based on your PCB. Then it also provides centralized cloud storage so you don't need to rely on one single computer for your files. It also helps you with managing your components and get real time supply chain data for your components. It also allows multiple people to work on single project. And in the end, it also helps you with sending your design to final manufacturing units. So LTM 365 takes care of all other tasks so you put more time and effort in making something creative and useful. And the good part is you can try out its free version as well. I'll leave its free trial version link down in the description of this video. So do check that out. And now let us start with this video. So this is how you will receive the product. On the top, you can see the name of the board along with its variant. So I'm having the one with the headers. On the back, we can see some of the important specification of this board, which will be covered in detail later in this video. On one of the side, we can see the holographic logo for authentication. And on the other side, again, we can see the name of the board. So that's the box overview. And now if I open the box, I get to see the main board along with the headers already shouldered on the board. A manual in English language and some Arduino stickers. So that's the box content and now let's have a look over the specification of this board. So this board is based on U-Blocks NORA W106 module clocked at 240 MHz which is based on ESP32-S3 chipset so we can expect both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity on board. Then we have 16 MB flash memory and 512 kilobytes of SRAM. Now talking about the GPIOs then, on board we have 14 digital pins, 8 analog pins, 5 PWM pins and it also has SPI, I2C and 2 UART communication ports. This board supports 3.3V logic level for GPIOs while it can be powered up with a 6V to 21V power supply. Now on the board we get a built in LED at pin 13 as all other Arduino boards, a power LED, a reset button and a RGB LED. Then this 2023 version of Arduino Nano comes with a Type-C port which was expected but this Type-C port is quite different in look wise as compared to the other Type-C ports. Now one thing to notice here is they tried to keep the pin arrangement almost same as that of the original Nano board which is great. And all this comes in the same form factor of the original Arduino Nano board which is 45 by 18 mm. So those were the specifications of this new IoT board. Now let us jump on to the Arduino ID and let's see how to program it. So now to program the Arduino Nano ESP32 with Arduino ID, we first need to install the boards packages and for that you just need to go to tools into boards and then into boards manager. Here just search out for ESP32 and you will be able to see a new option called as ESP32 by Arduino which you need to install okay. For the other ESP32 based boards you need to install this board package while for the Arduino you need to install this one okay. In my case I already installed so I'll click on the close button. And now you need to go to files, examples, and here you can see all the example codes that support uh, Arduino Nano ESP32. Now here, let me tell you the code used for uh, Arduino Nano ESP32 are exactly the same that we are using it for the regular ESP32 dev module. Okay. Let me show you one example. So I'll quickly open the Wi-Fi scan example from uh, Wi-Fi section. 
So here is the Wi-Fi scan example. And as you can see, the same library called as Wi-Fi dot H is used. And the code is exactly the same that we were using for our ESP0 dev module. Okay. So now I'll go to tools and here from the board section, I'll first of all, select the Arduino Nano ESP32. Then I'll go again to tools section, select the right com port and straight away I'll hit the upload button. And the code is successfully uploaded. I'll open the serial monitor. And here, as you can see, I'm getting all the nearby Wi-Fi routers along with their RSSI, okay, on the seal monitor. So yeah, the Wi-Fi scan example is perfectly working fine. Not only that, you can also integrate the RTOS based code, like for multi-threading and multitasking. So let me show you one more example. We'll go inside the ESP32 into RTOS and then into basic multi-threading. I'll maximize this. And uh, let's straight away hit the upload button. Okay. So this code will be running two tasks in parallel one to blink the LED and second to uh, read the analog pin. Okay. So I'll open the serial monitor and here, as you can see, I'm getting the random analog values and on the Arduino board, the LED also started blinking at the interval of one second. Okay. So both the tasks are running parallelly. So uh, yeah, the ESP32 multitasking or multi-threading code are also working fine in the Arduino Nano ESP32. And I also tried a couple of IoT based uh, IoT platforms in it. So the Blink Cloud platform was working fine. I was successfully able to blink LED using the Blink mobile application. And it was also working with the Arduino IoT cloud, which is expected as this board is also from the same company. So with this, I can conclude that almost all the codes that were running in your ESP32 development board will also be running in the Arduino Nano ESP32 board. When I say almost all the codes means uh, there may be some code which may not work because I haven't tried any everything. So I can't be hundred percent sure, but there are chances that almost all codes will work here. So that's how you can program the Arduino Nano ESP32 board using Arduino ID. But on the official page, it also shows that it can be programmed with the help of MicroPython. So now let me show how to flash the MicroPython firmware in it and how to write the MicroPython scripts. And for that, you need to visit this page uh, from the official Arduino website, which will guide you everything regarding the MicroPython for uh, Arduino Nano ESP32. Okay, so they have built kind of a course for learning MicroPython and also for making projects using MicroPython. So when you go inside this uh, third third chapter okay which is micropython installation guide here you will get uh, these two softwares uh, arduino lab for micropython and arduino micropython installer so you need to install both this uh, softwares in your computer in my case i have already installed okay so first i will open the micropython installer so here is the micropython installer and uh, it will automatically detect the board connected with it. So that's the beauty of ecosystem. Okay. As the software is from Arduino, as the hardware is from Arduino, they automatically detect each other and, uh, you know, it saves a lot of time. Okay. And it automatically search for the firmware, the latest firmware compatible with this board. Okay. So you just need to click one button and you're good to go. Okay. So as you can see here, the nano ESP32 is detected. I'll click on the install MicroPython. It is finding the latest firmware and started flashing the firmware as well okay so we are done with the micropython firmware flashing and now let me show you how to write the micropython scripts for that arduino also built a new software a new ide called as arduino lab for micropython now this is the very first time i'm looking over the micropython ide developed by arduino before that i was not at all aware about it okay so here after opening it you just need to click on the connect button and here's the port for our uh, arduino nano esp32 i'll click on it and it connected with my my Arduino board and as you can see here I can type out the MicroPython script called as print hello world and here as you can see the MicroPython is running successfully on the Arduino ESP32 board then here you can write your own script for doing anything on this board so I'll quickly paste the script which will help us to blink the onboard LED okay so after pasting the script I'll click on the run button and let me just turn on the uh, smartphone's camera to show you the results. On the ESP32, like the Arduino ESP32 Nano board, uh, the green LED started blinking at the interval of one second. So this was the script uh, written in MicroPython, which is successfully running on boards. And that's how you can uh, run any kind of MicroPython based scripts on the Arduino board. And the good part is Arduino has prepared a lot of documentation for helping you out to get started with MicroPython on the Arduino board. Now the question is, can we upload the Arduino codes once again after flashing the MicroPython firmware? Well, yes, you can definitely do that. And for that, you just need to follow one step. Let me show you. So for that, you need to unplug the USB cable, plug it back and quickly press the button on board press it once again 
and as you can see the green led started blinking in the breathe mode okay so it's a soft uh, uh, fading led and now we are good to go to upload the arduino sketches let me show you <clears throat> okay so here is the arduino sketch for blinking the led so i'll select the right board and right com port which are already selected and if i hit the upload button it uh, hopefully should upload the code onto the uh, board let's just wait Okay, the code started uploading and it is successfully uploaded as well. And if I show you the uh, ESP32, like the Arduino Nano board, uh, the RGB LED is, uh, you know, blinking. So if I plug it, uh, you know, unplug it and plug it back in. Okay, as you can see, the LED started blinking. Okay, so I changed the interval, of course, but uh, yeah, the Arduino sketch is also working. So that's how you can switch between MicroPython and Arduino sketches based upon your requirement. So that was the complete getting started video of this new IoT board. Well, we are definitely planning to explore more about this board and try to make some projects using Arduino IoT Cloud. So if you are interested in watching that video, well, do subscribe to this channel right now and do share your thoughts about this board. Like, do you think Arduino will dominate this IoT microcontroller board's market? Well, share your thoughts down in the comments of the video. And also, do hit the like button if you really like this video and the board as this will tell YouTube algorithm that this video was good and worth watching and hence it will recommend this to other potential viewers. And yeah, that being said, I am just ending this video here and now. Just wait for my next video until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.